so a lot of times with, with us Christians, we want comfort. We mm -hmm. want to live in good houses, uh, make good money. We want to uh, have nice cars. We want to be comfortable. Right. And as long as we're comfortable, we're never going to need to rely on our Savior. Say that one more time, a little louder. So that we're not going to be it. able to rely on our Savior. If we're... We're going to... We're going to... We're, basically what we're going to do is self-sustain ourselves. Right. We're if we're always gonna, comfortable. If we're always comfortable, there's no need for any help from the supernatural. Right. So, this is why Yeshua said that it's hard for a rich man to make it into the kingdom. Mm. So, in order for us to see real results, real, real miracles, we need to be uncomfortable. And when we become uncomfortable, it's like squeezing an olive. And we are the, we're the wild olive that was grafted into the olive tree. And so when we become uncomfortable in situations, we're being pressed. And when we're being pressed, we surrender ourselves to God, mm -hmm. to His will. We ask Him to guide us through whatever the situation is. And when... We, when we're in that situation and we press into him we're able to allow the release of the oil to bring the anointing to get us through the situation mm, that's good that's and so good. if we're not ever put in uncomfortable situations we're never going to see the true miracles that we saw the disciples go through because most of their journey was led into uncomfortable situations. We mm. look at Abraham. Abraham didn't know where to go. That must have been an uncomfortable situation for him to just trust God and leave what he knew as life at that time. So he journeyed out. And because of that, because of his obedience, God was able to make him the father of many. Wow, many man. nations. And today we can call ourselves sons of Abraham because he chose to leave that lifestyle and become uncomfortable and allowed himself to be anointed with the presence of God himself to guide him through to lead us to where we're at today to be a part of that covenant the Abrahamic covenant dude so, that's awesome man thank don't you don't be for afraid that. to be uncomfortable don't be afraid to be uncomfortable 